This is the Pulse on Human Design. Welcome back to the Pulse on Human Design. I'm here today with Amy Lee. Amy is one of our, um, I would say, top users of the Bodygraph Chart platform. If you're in, if you're in the Bodygraph Chart world, you will be familiar with her because she does lots of webinars and trainings in our community, and everyone in our community loves her. So, welcome to the show, Amy. I'm so happy to have you here. Hey, Vicky. Thanks for having me. So we are going to be talking a little bit about Bodygraph Chart's new astrology tool. So obviously you're the first person we thought of with that because you mix human design and astrology in your business, correct? Yes, I do. I do. Can you talk to me a little bit about how you do that? Yeah. So, well, I guess I, I was an astrologer before I found human design. So for me, um, when I found human design, the system, it was really like the missing piece, but I had all this context of astrology beforehand. And I actually think that having that astrological knowledge was really helpful for me when learning human design, because it just kind of made sense. It was like, oh, I get it. I get how this works. Um, and so I really use both systems together. And that's what I teach in my courses is like how to weave both systems together, because I think they're actually really complementary, you know, and I think you can, um, there's things that you can see in a person's human design chart that you can't get from their, you know, authority, mm -hmm. definition, like there's all these different bits and pieces that are so practical in human design that you just can't get from astrology. But then there's so much from an astrological lens that really complements that information I find so my approach is really like I use human design as the foundation though you know like in my readings and you know that's why I've, I've done human design reports first because I really think we want people in like their strategy and their authority we want people understanding like the mechanics in that way and then the way I use astrology is we can then weave those other bits in over the top and it can just give more nuance too like I find if someone doesn't resonate with certain things in their human design, like, you know, sometimes you'll be sitting with someone and they just are like, I just don't feel like a generator or I just don't feel like a projector or whatever it is. I yeah. find that um, oftentimes there's actually things in their astrology that can kind of help make sense of that. Um, so yeah, they work together. And then I think we can see lots of different things with both systems. Okay, so you were one of the testers for the new astrology tool for a body graph chart. Can you yes. give us any insight into, so I haven't even played with it because I know just enough about astrology to make me dangerous, which is yeah. <laughs> way too little, but you've been playing with this tool. What what are your initial thoughts about it? Yeah, I think the team have done a really good job. Um, I found the it really easy to use and I can see how the chart functionality will just blend in really nicely to people's websites and to my own website. Like I'm really looking forward to having that option for people to be like, okay, well, here's my body graph. Here's my rave mandala. And then here's my astro view. Um, so I think they've done a really good job. It's really comprehensive. Um, considering like this was a whole new uh, like modality for the mm -hmm. body graph charts team to like dive into, you know, and astrology, it's quite complex astrology charts. I think everyone's realized that yeah. like a lot of people think <laughs> human design so complicated and it's so complex. And it's like, actually, when you start looking at astrology charts, because there's so many different types of calculations and it's been, you know, over thousands of years, it's been adapted and people, are, you know, anyway, it's, it's quite complex. So I think they've done a really good job. And I did play with the report tool as well. Mm. And um, I found that really easy to use. So I'm really excited about that and the potential for people to um, layer, you know, like the human design pieces with the astrology pieces. I have a lot of clients who use the platform um, or students who use the platform and are looking to do more like specialized Mm -hmm. reports around things I think you can just get so much more depth and nuance when you combine the two through a bit of a specialized lens so yeah no I'm excited I think it's looking really good yeah it is exciting so I'm just going to bring our listeners up to speed in case there's someone who has no idea what body graph chart platform is which I find hard to believe but if you have no idea what what Amy's talking about body graph chart software offers you the opportunity that you can have the human design chart integrated into your website that you can create passive income reports in your business through their system. 
And now that you can create from that same birth information, a mandala, an astrology chart, a human design chart. So you can be as customized as you want to with these reports, which is something that you've really taken to the next level, Amy, is customizing your reports, correct? Um, yeah, we're, we're in the, pro we're planning to, um, yeah, we're planning to now that this is kind of being developed. So yeah. yeah. But your human design reports are something you've yeah. customized in their system. Definitely. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, but there's, there's, there's probably changes and things we're doing, but yeah. <laughs> always changes, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> always, always, always why... we're changing. Which is why their system's so good because it does like I'm really excited to the do the astro reports in their system because I am someone who likes to adjust things and mm -hmm. add things and play with things and it makes it really easy for that. Um so yeah, it can keep evolving as you as you evolve and want to add more. Yeah, because these reports are pulled in real time from your uh, client's birth information on your website. So it is something that as you know, in the back end, you can be changing not like a Canva document or something where it's it's static. And it's a big deal. If you have to change things this you just go in and, and flip around the, the components, and it's really easy to do. So what would you say to people about building a passive income stream? In their human yeah, design, well astrology, whatever business, sorry. Sorry, no, I interrupted you. Um, I, yeah, look, I think reports or any kind of like, uh, the reason I think the reports are so good is because they are like a lower ticket kind of offer. And I think they're a really great entry point for people into human design and astrology. And that's the feedback I've had, you know, with my reports, because I was creating reports back in 2018 in my business, but I was hand making them, you know, like oh, before this platform <laughs> existed. Yeah. As a quad, right. Too, that was like oh, not, not healthy. Yeah. It was way too focused work for yeah. me. Um, and so I stopped them for a year or so until yeah, the, this was ready. Um, but this is the feedback I've had is that like, I have, I still have people messaging me who bought those initial ones, you know, mm. like years later, they're a really mm. great resource for people to hold on to and something that has a lot of longevity, but it's cost effective, you know, because a mm. lot of people, I think it's important to remember that human design is a really new market. You know, there's a lot of people out there that haven't heard of human design and not everyone will be willing to invest 300, 400, however much, you know, dollars into a reading straight away. So the reports I think are really accessible for people. And yeah, I just hear it time and time again, like how great they are for people who like, like to sit and read, or they like to digest a bit here and then they'll go away and they'll integrate and then they might reread it a month later and get something else from it. So they're just a really great entry level offer for your office suite, I believe. Yeah, I believe so too. And I love that you're talking about this because so many times in the body graph chart community, it comes up that, well, nobody's going to buy my readings if they can buy a report for 37 or 97 or 127. Or I'm like, no, the opposite is true. People buy more. Yeah. 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 That's exactly what I found. It's like entryway. They get a taste of your energy because a lot of people do really need to get a taste of who you are and your perspective before they would invest in something bigger. So I find, yeah, I find the opposite is true that they lead people into readings really beautifully and it means that you can go so much deeper in a reading and you're not having mm -hmm. to maybe rehash some of those more foundational pieces like if they've had time to read it and digest it you, they get so much more bang for their buck I think than in a reading as well yeah. and even if they have the report so you know you may be listening to this and thinking but I don't know enough to do a report and then to go deeper in a reading, but people need to hear this over and over and over again. Like you said, human design is such a new market. I love that you said that too, because mm. I hate hearing, oh, it's so saturated. I'm like, oh my yes. God, saturated. We're like not even at the tip of the tip of the tip of the iceberg here with human design. So yeah. people need to hear, I mean, how many times when you think, how many times did you have to learn about your strategy or how many times did you have to learn about your authority or, or any of the pieces, right? It, it takes some time. So if you're listening and thinking, well, I can't give them that because that'll be too much. And then I have to go more into it in a reading and I don't have more information. They don't need more information. People don't need more information. They need to be able to understand how to implement. And I think that's where the difference is between a report and a reading. When they're mm. in the room with you, you get to help them actually embody the information. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And also, I think the thing that you know, you can't really do with a report is the synthesis part mm -hmm. too. And so I think like 
you know, when people come into a reading, it's like your opportunity to give them like a high level, like not self overview or a high level, like true self overview and really pull out like, what is it that I really see in your chart as like the big things here. Whereas um, it's no matter how great the functionality is of the platform, it's yeah. not possible to do that in a report. And yeah, and then it's your unique perspective that you're offering as well in a reading and yeah. questions too. And, and it's probably the same for you, Vicky, but as a quad, right, like readings for me, it's like the questions and people yes. pulling from me. It's like, that's kind of the magic of, of it. You know, you don't know exactly what's going to come out always yes. in a reading or the direction <laughs> it's going to go in. Sometimes it's like, you know, things are happening in life and people really want to focus on like a particular area. They're like, I really want to talk about relationships or I really want to, want to talk about my work or whatever. So you can really go a little bit more um, like into like a specialized uh, uh, like uh, perspective in a reading as well. Yeah, hundred percent. And even if you're not a quad right, Amy and I are both yeah, quad yeah. rights, which, which is so interesting. But even if yeah. you're not, you're going to be able to guide your person through what they need you to guide them through like that's why you're here so let's step off of that that pattern of thinking that you don't know enough because you know more than they know I remember I had a, a retail store for 15 years and we were trained as mastectomy fitters and you know I remember the first time going into that room one of my staff members was absolutely terrified and, and the trainer took her by the shoulders and said this woman needs your help and you know more than she knows about this. She knows nothing. And she went into that room. And when she came out, it was like two transformed women came out of that room because one just chose to guide the other with what she knew. And that's what we do in human design is we just can choose to take what we know, meet people where they're at, guide them through what they're going through. And when you know more, you'll do more of that. But you're going to know what, what you need to know in a reading, I think. Yeah. No, I love that perspective. Yeah. Uh, so I know that you have limited time here with us today, Amy. It's so exciting to get to spend some time with you. Any parting way, any parting thoughts for listeners? I'm kind of thinking about how would someone start to use this astrology tool in their business? If they say they know a little bit of astrology or they know a lot of astrology and they've already got human design stuff in their reporting system with body graph chart, how would you suggest they get started playing with this tool and using it in their business? Yeah. So, I mean, there's so many in, in astrology, we often, you know, if you're, if you're starting to learn astrology first, like if you have no sort of awareness, but you're starting to like dive in and explore and you want to learn more. Um, we, a common practice in, in astrology is to actually play with writing horoscopes. It's kind oh, of like how, okay. yeah, it's a big way. It's almost like a rite of passage and it's a really common way that, um, so many branches of astrology encourage people to to learn is through like starting to share your perspective say on like a transit or something like that so I would encourage people to play with the chart you know have that put that on your website like it doesn't hurt to just have that up so people have the option even if you haven't created reports yet um, and I would say experiment with that in your content you know like maybe you want to yeah. because that, that's how I built my business was uh, you know, my business really um, grew because I would share uh, horoscopes and insights for the new moon and the full moon, you know, and that's why I still do that. It's still a really big part of my marketing, um, but it's such a good way to start learning more about the signs and the planets and things like that. And you'll start integrating it as you're sharing and talking about it. So I would experiment with that. And then there is a lot to astrology, but the main pieces to learn and where you can you know you can start sharing information um fairly quickly is if you integrate the planet sign combination mm. so like mm. what does it mean to have like say like your mars in leo or what does it mean to have your mars in virgo so planet sign and then planet house combinations so mars in the first house or mars in the ninth house and you can actually give people like a lot of information to begin with just sort of integrating that um the planetary the planets are interesting to explore in through the lens of astrology I think the information about the planets is a lot richer in astrology than it is in human design I think the interpretations mm. of the planets in human design can be quite limited and there's something that's not even always discussed or or, or looked at um 
so yeah I would explore the planets the houses and the signs and you can yeah start pulling together information from that that's really really helpful and I love the fact that you said we should go ahead and put the astrology chart on their website. I didn't even really think yeah. of that. It's like, why not have it there? It's available to you to use. So use it in your website. Yeah. You want to be directing as many people as you can to your website, right? Like, so instead of sending them to astro.com or wherever you might've been sending them, just get it. Yeah. Get it on yours. Yeah. hundred percent. And that's the beauty of working with the system. I, I just love that so much that we can keep people in our worlds once they're there. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you taking the time. I know that you're on the road right now. You're traveling. If you're mm -hmm. listening in and rather than watching this, then uh, Amy Lee is in a hotel room right now. Yeah. So I appreciate you taking the time between our time zones to, uh, to fit this interview in and um, just let us know where people can find you. And we'll pop that in the show notes as well. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm mostly on Instagram, which is amylee.co um, or myconstellation.co um, is my other site. Um, but thank you. This was so lovely. It was lovely to connect and yeah. meet a fellow quad right. Yeah. So interesting. Thank you, Amy. <laughs> Thanks, Vicky.